Hello, this is Dalen 75 Games. Welcome back to another video of me playing Alpha EverQuest Next Landmark. Now, um, I fixed my claim. I was able to get it so it goes deeper into the ground. And uh, I haven't done too much so far. I plopped down my uh, forge and my, what is this, a little lumber mill? I don't know what the name is called. Crafting table, lumber mill. Um, so I plan to make stone walls all around. I don't know how far I'll take it, but these stone walls, they don't take up much, and um, much in terms of resources. So um, I've got, I've upgraded. Um, I, I made the copper pick. I'm not sure if I showed you guys making a copper pick. It's basically just a step up from the starter stone pick, which everyone will get who isn't part of the alpha and beta. And uh, from there, I made the bronze pick. But the bronze pick turned into a legendary pick, and it's really fast. And I guess I lucked out. It's got... What happens when you craft things, you can get randomized stats. So uh, I got a really good bronze pick, and it's even better than the next tier, because I went... See, it's resource rating 3. Um, it would get you nearly everything, I think everything but silver, in tier 1, which is where I am. So I went from the bronze pick and um, upgraded... See, you still, I still got to keep the bronze pick when I upgraded. So I, I created an iron pick. Now it's got more damage, less speed, and less size. Um, so you, you mine slower. And I think the size, I'm not sure what the size means. If it's the l amount you get, or... I think it's the amount you get. I'm not sure on that. Or it could also be the size of the hole you're making. I'm not sure. Um when you're mining in, into the ground. So the iron pick does more damage and it's resource rating of four. Now I can get everything in tier one with this. And now Topaz is, uh, it's like an orange type of gem. Now that's only in tier two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run back to the uh, Nexus, what's it called? Hub and tr uh, transfer to another shard. And I'll find something some tier 2 area and I'll try to get a whole bunch of topaz and yeah I plan to make maybe like a neat fort down here and um, I mean there's a few things I've seen of other people doing there's a really neat valley if I go up here I'll show you um, I, I'm gonna guess um, a lot of people have made little things little uh, constructions building constructions and they just kinda left it uh, probably fiddled around with it for a few hours probably oh look at that one <laughs> it's like off the edge that's kind of neat actually uh, I also had a grappling hook I was using to get up mountains uh, it was kind of interesting I mean it was just the bronze grappling hook the first stage first tier uh, grappling hook it wasn't anything special and um, yeah I can mine that uh, is that as anthemist I think yeah I don't really have any use for anything else um, in this tier at the moment. I, I, I could make another grappling hook, but what happened was um, it either bugged out and left my inventory or it has limited uses because I no longer have it. I use it maybe about six times. and uh, So I, I took it off my... because I couldn't get it to work again. I, for, I was using Y instead of the E key to use it. I, I mistakenly thought it was Y. So I took it out of my inventory to, to try to read it because when it's in your inventory, all you can see is the title of what it is. You can't actually see the stats. And uh, so I took it off and tried to put it in my inventory, and it just poof disappeared. So I haven't seen it again. So it, it either bugged out on me or has limited uses. I don't know. So this is somebody else's claim. Somebody else's um, funny. Whoa, we are probably gonna crash. Or it's frozen. It hasn't done this to me before, and I've been playing for hours. Okay, so we're going to come back. So we had a, a bit of a crash. I'm not sure if it was able to be picked up. It may have stopped before then. So this is somebody else's construction. It's very colorful. They use copper for the base and then dirt. They change it to the grass color and then use dirt to use for the rest of it. And then they put a stone floor in. And they were able to make a wooden railing and go down into their basement. I haven't seen this person. Uh, I think I saw this person a while back. Or no, 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 I didn't, actually. I just saw the, the construction. So, yeah, it kind of ends here. You know, there's nothing fantastic, but uh, crude stairs, crude structure. Um, I'm hoping to make something nice. Um, 
I've never, I, I liked watching the Minecraft, uh, Minecraft, Minecraft videos where people were making things and, uh, you know, going deep into the ground and facing the dangers and stuff like that and dealing with the zombies and skeletons and those green things that blow up. I forget what they're called. Creepers. Yeah. Um, so yeah, is it, I think it's this hill. You get to see several people's claims ahead. See, kind of look like a giant stone hedge over there and I couldn't tell you what that is. So, um, I haven't seen anything super fantastic so far. There's a, another building over there. Let's see. Let's check the map. Um, hmm. I think that's where we just came from. Let's see. No, no, no. I, I checked this person's claim out as well, and it was kind of neat. Uh, like, very extensive. I wouldn't mind seeing. It looks like there's a statue down there. Maybe it's a no mead statue. Yeah, we're definitely going to check that out. I want to show you this this place first. I mean, this place isn't anything special. I just want to show you what other people are, are building. So this is uh, Monday, February 10th, 2014. And uh, Alpha's been out for what? Uh, since the 31st so of January. So they put a bunch of torches. I guess these are props that they put up on the top. There's like a grass roof. And they put a staircase here, if I can see it. Yeah, a staircase right here. So you take no falling damage, not in... Oh, um, these st stairs are too big <laughs> for us human beings. Might be able to go down them. Yeah, I can go down them. You gotta hop up to get up. Yeah. So, wow, so that's kind of a really high up. And you can see that the claim ceiling goes up pretty high too. And, uh, yeah, they have all their things in here. Uh, there's a few... Let's see, what is this? I think it's... It doesn't doesn't say... This doesn't say the name when you click on it. Uh, it looks exactly the same as this. I'm not sure why they built two. Maybe they just did it for... Just to say they did. Now, what is this? Generic. Small jute bag of ore. Maybe it's, like, for creating gems? band. Oh, what is this? This small blue band has a small image of an eye etched into it. The wearer has a chance to find additional rare resources while harvesting. Interesting. Scout's emblem. This patch has a small insignia on it of a winged boot on it. Those that hold it move faster. Oh. Uh, yeah, we could actually probably build some of these things. Uh, but you know what? Um, what I'm going to do is I'll make it in my own. This is a whole bunch of uh, props that they can make. Prop. Rustic pillows, curvy pillows, and iron and firewood. A solid iron base for burning wood. Hmm. Ornate picture. Wall-mounted brazier. That's what they use. Brazier. That's what they used up at the top, I think. Stone. Oh, no. That's what they used. Stone brazier. Iron chandelier. Iron lamp post. Uh, I was hoping that... Oh, you can actually even build a settler flag. Small... Wall sconce, explorer flag, trailblazer flag. I guess you can rebuild them. A small lantern and a metal ring. I was hoping that you could actually build like a window, but uh, I don't know if that's fitting. Uh, See, so one thing to keep in mind with Landmark is that you will be able to build elements that go beyond just fantasy. It can also be sci-fi. It could be just about anything you want. Um, they won't incorporate non-fantasy things themes that don't fit into EverQuest Next into the game when they they put it up, but um, you can do that in Landmark. They may even have separate areas or servers for, say, sci-fi things. So it's, it's I mean, because they even have gave you the sci-fi suit. Now let's go check out that statue. So they, oh, so they did build a statue. That's kind of funky. So, um, yeah, so you, you have a sci-fi suit if you want to. I was wearing it in one of my other videos. And um, let's see. So I hope I didn't sound too preachy in the last video. I, I, I need to learn how to... Um, like I, I can commentate while I'm playing a game and try to be entertaining. But uh, when it comes to just sitting there commentating and not looking at anything but what I, I want to say, I, mean, I can go a little wild and not get quite to the point that I want to get to. So there's somebody up there, Elra. Uh, I don't know whose claim this is. Maybe it's Elra's. 
Yeah, it's a little uh, laggy, the frames of... Yeah, it's Aura's claim. Looking out to the sand. Nice place. It's not a statue. I think it's... I don't know what it is. L. Ra. Elra's up there. What it could be is she's he or she's building a tower. Yeah, Elra's moving around, so they're playing. And uh, just went up as high as it can go, and then is building... Um, we'll build the walls afterwards. So yeah, the frames per second are pretty low, guys. I've been looking at 8, 8 and 10. So uh, Fraps probably took it down about uh, half to half. So I think I was actually getting in the 20s before, so it took it down to less than half. So we'll continue on. Um, yeah, it's quite a ways to the Nexus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I guess maybe restart the video when I get to the Nexus. So we'll be back in a moment. On the way to the Nexus, I found something pretty interesting, guys. It's like a fantasy-type fort. Um, I'm not sure why the outside is highlighted. I'm not inside the claim yet. Arkwright's veil and see it almost looks like it kind of reminds me of a dwarven place inside say uh, Kaladim or even yeah yeah it doesn't have a dark elfy feel it um, in a way it kind of also reminds me of the, the dwarven places in Dragon Age when you go uh, under the ground wow this guy's put a lot of effort into this holy it's like a big pit up here Oh, it's not as deep as I thought it'd be. Uh, I don't know how to get out of there if I actually went in there. I think that there's ways to get back home. I'm sure how it's working. Let's see, can I... Uh, scroll back. Can't see much. I'm gonna go for it, guys. Let's see what's down here. It looks like there's more stairs, actually, so... Yeah, more stairs. Wow. This kind of gives me ideas. I don't know if I... Uh, Ah, some work, bro. Wow. How f this is, he probably went down to the base, actually. So, yeah, you can jump up super high. Obviously, it's inhuman how high you can jump up. I'm not sure. I mean, they may be keeping that in the main game when it comes out. EverQuest, uh... Well, for Landmark, it's fine, I mean, but EverQuest next, who knows. Um, is there stairs I can take up, I guess? Oh, up this way. Pretty neat, I'd say. Um, give this guy another day or two, and you can come up with something awesome. Give him the ability to place uh, monsters, like mobs, or, say, even dwarves. And uh, you can probably get them to say things and, and move about and, like, have their own schedule, I'm going to guess. I mean, if you can create dungeons, why couldn't you do that? And uh, EverQuest Nexus is, is supposed to be all about uh, a non-static world. It's supposed to be like a breathing world that you can interact with and uh, feels real. So uh, we'll be, I'll come back when we hit up the Nexus. I just wanted to show you guys that Arkwright's place. All right, I lied. Um, on the way to the Nexus, I found what looks to be a, a well-put-together home. Uh, I guess the basic crude structures are out, guys. That's probably just the first weekend. Miami's home. Or is it Mijami? Oh, this looks neat, actually. Wow, i got to check it out. Oh, man. It almost looks like uh, the plot... Well, be kind of unsettling to be relaxing in a room with a giant saw going, but <laughs> um, it looks like a very nice place, and I see there's a staircase going up. Let's go up top. Wow, that's pretty neat. I wonder if that's what I saw earlier, like the Stonehenge type building. And can we see the Nexus from here? Uh, no, I think it may be in the valley down there. It's or there, I'm not sure. See, now you're you're seeing towers here, there, there, there. They're all over the place. And a lot of people, like, uh, there, 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 there. I'm seeing, like, 30 just from this vantage spot. There, there. Wow. Um, there's one something there. Looks like a ruined area. I think they may have made that out of dirt. 
Uh, a lot of people pick, uh, picked hillsides. Oh, well, they even made like chimneys. Chimneys with smoke coming out of it. And there's like thatched roof type thing. Wow, that's kind of cool. Uh, so a big part of the reason why I need to go get that tier 2 agate is because it, there's a selection tool that I can uh, upgrade myself to. And I'm hoping that'll help me to build things. Oh yeah, this place is great, nice and spacey, but it is severely lacking in furnishings. So I guess this is actually a good way to make windows uh, fits with the theme. Uh, I read my history books and uh, medieval castles were not exactly a comfortable place. They were very cold and <laughs> they didn't have chimneys for a lot of them. I think ch chimneys was a later invention so <laughs> I don't I don't know. Um, maybe they just had open roofs in areas or <laughs> they just... Yeah, because you, you can't sit in the smoke. I mean, you'll cough and die. So they ha obviously had some kind of way of ventilating, but it wasn't obviously very efficient. Apparently, a lot of castles are very smoky inside. Ah, um, did I get over there? I think I did. Let's see. Yeah, I think so or, n or not. Um, maybe not. Oh yeah, that's what this is. That's pretty neat. It's like a big arm. Alright, back to the Nexus. <laughs> so being a Monday morning, and the fact that they actually fixed the claims, if you can see, it's not uh, mass... Well, it is pretty spam, but just that at least now you can see what's what, especially when you zoom in a bit. And uh, it looks fairly claimed. There might be a few areas here and there that aren't. Um, see, all, all these copper minerals and anthemis that they're showing, it's not actually like that. I think that that's just a gross exaggeration because this would be like copper field. Copper, copper anthemis fields is just would be everywhere. I'm sure there's a few, more than a few over there, but it's not just completely covered like it's showing. So I ran into some bar, says, have a drink, a uh, bender. <laughs> And uh, there's no bender around. And it was on stilts, a house on stilts. Interesting. Okay, so we don't. This is what everyone uses when they first start because there's no other forge. From that, you can build everything else. And um, so let's see. Cinder. Let's go to Cinder. It's on the same server. And hopefully it won't crash because it likes to do that. Yeah, so the people's buildings are coming along. Um, that house that I ran through, it kind of inspires me, and uh, this was the, the dwarven type dungeon area. I'm not sure what I'm going to build, I, I don't really plan to become, well see, I, I would be interested in making things if you had the ability to add more things like NPCs and possibly like a, a dungeon where you can go in and have combat, but as to the moment it's kind of limited and the fact that... Um, so I know you can actually save the template to the buildings right now because it's alpha and they can be uh, taking them out probably in uh, regular type schedules. But um, yeah, my uh, outfit's gone again. That seems to happen every time I log in, so that's why I put it on the hotbar. And there's buildings all over the place. So now we're looking for... See, this is iron right here. And that's either silver or tin. We're going to look for some glowing orange thing. No, I haven't looked for it before. A lot of flags on that claim. Well, this is kind of a, a neat world. A very, A lot of it's green. Oh, man, I wish I actually kind of got in here. I prefer the green to the desert. Uh, if I really want to, I can always pack up camp. And if I find a place that's able to be claimed, I'm not sure what this bar is. Um, so, I uh, see a whole bunch over here. This could very well be what I'm looking for. So we're going to go, well, it's all around us, but I see lots here. Let's go, I think we're facing the right way. Yeah. Let's go this way. Man traps. You know, it's funny. I'm actually very claustrophobic in real life, more so than I realized. And uh, so when I'm digging down to some of these these places for minerals, uh, and it's, you, you kind of, you can dig your way down to a point because you have to go in further and further to follow the, the minerals where it's harder to get out because then um, you, if you try jumping up, I mean, you're going to hit the, the ceiling, right? So um, that's kind of neat. What what happens is if I get this panic feeling, if I feel I can't get out easily, 
almost like I'm really in there. It's just, it's, it's not something that is logical. It's just a reaction by my self for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, it's not very fun. I've actually been in panic a few times. I turn around when all I see is rock and uh, I try to, uh, you know, because you can zoom in and stuff. Um, and you can't, because the, the, you're being, the camera's being blocked by the walls. You're in a very tight spot. I just get a little panicky and yeah, it's strange. It's weird. I, I don't know why, but it's not like something I'm consciously doing. Cliffside Escape by Liberty Pudding. Feel free to look around and something or other. Look around and what Liberty Pudding? And craft. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, it could be a bit of a pain to navigate through mountains or over mountains as you definitely slow down when you're going up. And let's see. Now they're disappearing. So, like, this map is not a. It's not perfectly accurate because I swear there was some right here and it's kind of gone. I don't see any. I plan to get a couple hundred of them. That's, that's what I, I came out here to get. So uh, I'm going to keep looking. And when I find my Anthemist, or what looks like Anthemist, I'll restart the video. So I see something. Hopefully it won't disappear. What actually, I'll see in the distance a few things that are this color, and then they'll disappear when I get close. It's a little frustrating. Okay, so let's use my um, iron pick. See. Hopefully this isn't copper. Um, agate. Yes. We want agate. That's what we came out here for. So it's kind of like a, a dull orange color. Yeah, as you can see, when you jump down into these tight places, that's kind of... It does bother me. Um, this, this pick is also not as quick as my legendary bronze pick, which, I mean, I, I lucked out with that. But um, uh, the bronze pick cannot mine agate, only this pick can. Now, to upgrade to the second pick, I actually didn't look to see. I think you need silver. And um, see how far this goes down. So you have to kind of zoom. You could work your way around. Which maybe I should with my... Okay, is this... Okay, so this is the bronze pick. See how much faster it goes. I really wish I could, way faster. I really wish I could use this for all my minerals. And uh, I guess that when it comes down to it, once I get the final pick, oh, it's, red is too far. Um, I'll keep on trying to get a, a, a good one because it's randomized. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm wearing, let's see, I'm wearing something that increases my chance. Mastercraft Bracer, yes. Uh, gives you a bonus to crafting, making craft items more likely to be of high value, high quality. Uh, I'm not sure if I got it all because it's kind of hard to pick out from the uh, stone and dirt. Looks like I got it all. So that's just one. Wow. Um, let's see how much I actually picked up. So go to your inventory and you click on this thing. And um, I want a couple hundred actually. Elemental copper, so that doesn't help. Elemental is uh, a rare type of item you get, so you can find like elemental agate. Oh, um, twelve hundred. No, that's. Oh man, it's not agate that we're after. We are after. If I can find it. Topaz. Yeah, not agate. So we found the wrong one. I guess I'll have to keep on looking. So we'll be back once I find. Topaz. I seem to have found it, but it's not orange, it's green. Oh, that's gonna make it... It, it almost blended in right with the, uh, the ground. Yeah, see, that's there down there, that's Topaz. I just thought it was some kind of new mineral I was gonna try to find, so... Or try to see if I can pick it up. Possibly like Jade. So I'm getting topaz. I'm not sure how many I've picked up, but there wasn't very much there. Um, yeah, that's hard to see actually. Let's see on the map if I'm picking up odd-colored green. Like 
there, that looks like topaz. Maybe that too. Um, that could be. You need a real keen eye to pick these things out. I can see people's constructions. Yeah, well, whatever I build, it's going to be a work in progress. And I don't expect uh, to build fantastic things. I would love to build like a an underground, like a kind of like a. I mean, the claims aren't big enough to really build what I want, but if I could place them, I'd place like a kind of like a Neriac type area uh, with dark elves. And yeah, I can't. It's so easy to miss. Let's see the map again. So uh, there should be some straight ahead. Oh no, that's the tree. Tree branches kind of look dreamy, like topaz. Is that some right there? Or is it a bush? Could be a bush. No, it looks like topaz. Yeah, getting a couple hundred of these might take me a while, guys. Uh, <laughs> I wish, I, I hope to find a big vein of it. I need at least a hundred for, oh. Says the resource rating of my is too low. Well, Really? Weird. Well, what what am I trying to mine then? Maybe it is jade. Quite often you'll find two minerals together, like you'll seem to always have iron and uh, silver next to each other. I wonder if this isn't another case like that. Yeah, maybe I should look into getting the silver silver pick or something like that, whatever it is. True silver pick. Well, whatever, I can't mine that, so... Just looks like agate. Okay, well that's done for that. Um, can I see the color of it around? It's weird. Uh, there's more stuff over here, so we'll, we'll continue to go over there. Uh, i got to turn so right around like this. Maybe that'll do it. Yeah, that's pretty much. Okay, I actually saw two different colors. So this one, and then there's this one. So I had to figure out what one I'm on. That's more metallic looking, right? And uh, so that's the same thing there. So this very well could be topaz over here. It's more like a green orange type color. That could be jade. I don't know what else, what other minerals are green. I mean, I know copper, if you leave it out in the the elements, it's green. And this is, uh, it's not Anthemis, I forget what it is. Got lots of this back at home. Tourmaline. Tourmaline. Yeah, so getting topaz is kind of a, a big deal. Uh, I'm not sure how many I actually need for what I, I, I want to pick up, but I know I wanted to get a couple hundred of them, so... But at the rate I'm going, it might be days worth of effort. Okay, so slightly over this way. Oh, right there. Uh, is this the same thing? Okay, we're able to get this. So this has got to be topaz. Or no. That was just the dirt around it. Yeah, this map is terrible to guide by for minerals. Because everything changes, so... Jeez Louise. Is that it? Looks like there might be some things over this way. Oh, there's something else. Yeah, I, th I thought it was more orangey color, so this, this can't be it. This is the same thing I've been trying to get and failing. Forget that noise. Well, I can just wander around looking for it because the map isn't is probably harming me more than helping. And uh, I think that's more of the same thing. Yeah. I just need to be able to find it again to compare it to that. 
Yeah, it's a little difficult to find. I know minerals are really super easy to find around my home. And uh, you know what? It's It might show up easier if I go into the desert area. So, sorry, I need to be sure. Let's go straight down here. And um, because green, looking for green, something green on a green field, not very easy to do. Let's see if we can't find it out here. Oh, what's this is iron. Yeah. Yeah, iron. Okay, so this is a little easier. This is what it's like around my place. You can see all the minerals really far away. And maybe that is actually a benefit. The only problem is that trees are less. Uh, if you want, like in this game, burled wood seems to be a bit of a rarity and you need it to upgrade. It's the same thing as before. So, that plant's moving. <laughs> They're going to be putting man-eating plants called chompers soon. I'm not sure if it's just something to avoid or you'll be able to actually get in and fight it. If, if you have to... If you can get in and fight it, oh, we're lagging, then um, they'll have to introduce, I mean, combat will obviously be in the game then. And so this is agate. No, we need topaz. Yeah, it's, oh, there's something this way. There's a couple things. There's a whole bunch of that jade, I guess. Jade is very plentiful. Um, this color, is that different? There's something, yeah, here it is. It's like a, uh, it's hard to describe, it's kind of like a mine, a lime green. Here's Topaz. 17 Topaz in one go. Let's, uh, yeah, we found a good little vein of it, so. Awesome, getting lots of Topaz. I'll probably have over 100 just from this, this one and the first one. Right next to the jade, I guess. Yeah, stone, you basically get stone every time you dig into the earth. You get some dirt too, so stone is really easy to get and it makes for good building with, so um, it's stuck down there. Is this more of it? No, it's, oh, there is one right here by this rock. It's a prop. Yeah, these are all props, guys. You can actually, if they're on your... Oh, just disappeared. I swear it was right there. Wow. Okay, there's some... There's a lot of things up ahead. Is it topaz? Please don't disappear when I get there. Oh, it's just grass. <laughs> man traps and they're everything's warping and disappearing i wasn't doing this back home yeah, everything's better back home <laughs> this place is all weird and strange and scary mineral city up there but of course by the time you get there almost all of that will have disappeared on you it's like they're mirages and you're lost in the desert well it's alpha guys i mean Everything, including the looks, including the character looks. I mean, for my last video, that's all all they're showing us right now. They have a lot to come out with. So, for characters, I mean, how many races? They, I think they're going to have, like, ten races or more. They're going to have a few more than were in the original EverQuest. Oh, this looks like it. Oh, I need to sneeze. One moment. Sneeze is done, and I found some more topaz. Please be topaz. Or is it just grass? It's gotta be grass. Damn. Well, how much do I have? Oh, I have 353 topaz. Awesome. Well, I'm hoping maybe to hit another vein or two. I mean, that's really hard to see these things. That's when I was first, uh, when I couldn't get a proper claim, I was thinking maybe I should go to T3. To uh, this looks like no, it's more grass. Damn it, looks just like that. T3 to because that's where all the final minerals will be. Like I'm in the T1 shard for my claim. Oh no, that's weird. What is this color? It can't be uh, 
Oh, that mineral is getting back home. I might not even be able to mine this. Slipping and sliding. Wow, can we stay still? <laughs> I'm not even trying to mine. It's just red. So I, oh, we can try here. Stone. Dirt. Nothing. Just stone. Weird. Okay, let's see uh, if we can't find some more. I may, Maybe I'll try the feature to get back home. There's a thing that you can use. <coughs> What's this? That's more of that jade that we can't pick up. More jade over there. Well, at least you don't need enormous amounts of topaz, because otherwise it would be very frustrating. Well, what's this? Silver. Oh, that's silver. Okay. Couldn't pick this up before my before this pick. Silver ore is always nice to have. Might even link up down there with. Uh, But quite often this goes not fairly deep, but deep enough where you have to get down there. Because if it's too far, the, the reticle will turn red. Oh, I'm picking up topaz down. There's a topaz vein in there. Wow. Kind of glad I stopped. Well, we'll just get this and then head back. I'll try that feature to go back to my claim. And if it bugs out, it bugs out. We'll just have to come back. Let's see anything else down there. I'll just dig around it. Ah, oh, that's done. Okay, so let's try that ability to go back home. Make sure it's not Topaz. Um, escape, and then evac to safety. Not sure if that takes me home or not, but we'll try it. <laughs> Who knows? It might crash. Evac to safety. Or it just might not do anything. So evac to safety is not working. Oh, oh. So we're back. Uh, I haven't gone too far. I'm trying to get back to the Nexus, but I think I found marble. I can't mine it. Uh, my uh, resource rating of your current tool is too low. So uh, I'm going to be looking for more topaz on the way back. Since it's so difficult to see. Uh, we have almost 400. It's like 383. And is this topaz? Okay, so I'll get back to my claim and build that selection tool and see what it can do for me. So we'll be back. Uh, Ten minutes for me. Just seconds for you. Okay, I have to admit that this is one of the more unique ones I've seen. <laughs> it's like they put Anthemus down as the base, and then there's a ship in the middle. <laughs> That's pretty creative. Need to move that prop around, but uh, and there's a giant tree at the other end, but they may not know how to move props. Weird and neat at the same time. It's like it's like a tray that's turned into a wooden tray that's turned into a ship. Uh, that's funny. So we're back at the uh, the nexus to uh, get back to the shard, my shard. Didn't find any topaz on the way back. That's incredibly hard to find. I think it's one of the rare ones, but on top of that, um, it's so hard to see in the green. Is this it? It's kind of 
doesn't look like it's too shiny. And I keep mistaking it for the jade. And why are we not mining at all? Oh, I don't think you can mine around the nexus. That's right. Nexus has a perimeter you can't mine around. Okay. That was cool. Okay, a ley line station. Drift is showing that I have a claim there. I, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm from, Drift. But I went back there. I even have it written down, Drift and Serenity. So what I'm hoping is that when I'm able to make this new selection tool that it will help in the construction and make what I'm trying to build faster. We have tons of stone. I can make a, a castle, pretty much. I have, like, probably close to 30,000 stone, and uh, each little brick I'm putting down takes only 27. Foam beard. And I lost my... There we go. Yep, yeah, it's back. And we need to go north. North by northeast. Let's see if we're going that way, kind of. So once I get back to my place, I will restart the video. Okay, so I looked up a few of Geek Domo's tutorials on how to build. Now, uh, I do plan to paint the surface eventually. I don't even have the painting tool yet, so that'll come later on. Right now, we're, I just want to get a stone structure up. Okay, so for... Where is it? I haven't tried this, but it should be fairly easy. Now, it's perfectly covering it. Now, uh, go to the Add Tool. And we want to make it out of, or make it before here, and medium granite brick. Okay, so, is it Control C? And bring this up. <laughs> but I'm actually placing it down. Um, why control Y und undo is not working for me. Shift tab to change scale modes. I have no idea what that is. Alt. Okay, so I'm going to have to get a bit of practice with this. It's kind of driving me nuts at the moment. So, again, I'll have to come right back. Otherwise, you'll be seeing me fiddle with this. Very frustratingly. I'll be right back. Now, I think this will work. It's got to be yellow. And you have to be on the Add tool. There. Now I just doubled the size of the wall. I'm thinking of making kind of maybe... Uh, if I can go high enough. Yeah, maybe like the... They have like a uh, center area, and I'll try to make a fort. So, yeah. So okay. So let's go back to s the selection tool. I'm very glad I went and I got that. It was definitely worth it. So now we can copy this, and oops, I seem to be stretching it oddly. Take some practice to get used to this. Now let's move this out. Oop. Keep showing my claim, why don't you? Um, let's get. I was thinking of, of putting these things down. Now, um, well, we can use dirt too. If we want big. So that is there as makeshift scaffolding. Let's go back to stone and then granite brick. Back to the selection. This doesn't have to be perfect, right? Uh, can I move this? But it it takes a lot of practice to do these things. So let's just is it copy and let's move this up. <laughs> Trying to move it. Uh, 
It's not that hard to get the the outline of it. Okay, so let's try that again. Control C, yeah. Nope. What happens is, it, as soon as I try to click on the red button, it doesn't actually touch the red button, and it clicks off of it. So that looks like it should be, but then, okay, and we got it. And, no, we still have it. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to teach your dog to come. <laughs> come, come. You need dog treats. not sure why it's yeah come back here <laughs> I'm trying to put it on the other side so as you can see this takes a bit of practice okay so I had it going oh now it's just a single thing uh, I might be able to stretch it out if I can get it over here. Oh, see, I lost it. Damn it. Well, anyways, that's this is me trying to learn how to build. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a, a half-decent structure. And I'll put that up in the next video. I'm, this could be already too long as it is. So thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to subscribe.